the other challenge which you need to go ahead is we are direct to logical thinking fine next one is indirect to logical thinking or reasoning are they called as a spatial challenge indirect to logical reasoning what will be there sir they will display two diagrams first you need to find some pattern they are following next they will give four diagrams on the right side total six diagrams will be there in the question left side two diagrams they will display you have to understand what the two diagrams are doing the logic what is the rule they are following then using that right side four diagrams are there among four diagrams you need to select to two which is following same rule same rule let's say let us say first diagram is 1 2 3 second diagram is 3 2 1 what do you understand from that 1 2 3 3 2 1 means they swapped 1 2 3 they reversed it 3 2 1 like that that rule one you need to select in the options four they will give among four you need to select two lot of people click on one i am not moving i am not getting mixed problem is that you need to select two things right so that's what this is also again unlimited questions 6 minutes time pair you need to select again i'm telling you clearly pair of figures two you need to select options you need to select two right so i'll show one example for that yeah here they need to follow the same rule whatever you're calling about inductive logical reasoning okay this is what guys this is where you can observe this is the question two grids following the same rule what rule they are following you please let me know what is that what rule they are following here the two diagrams you need to analyze what is then the two diagrams first row third row both maintain same first row third row same what is happening in the middle one they are shifting to right side okay right most will come to left most automatically triangle square is in the middle it went to right side right triangle in the left side it came to middle it is shifting to right side okay so that's what the rule now they will display four options this is how the question will be yeah, this is how the question will be let the same at a time the question will be like this this is how question will be displayed two grids will be in the left side you need to understand what rule they are following now in the right side again you see which of these groups that is four no your answer can be first one last one also diagonal also don't think this column or this column not like that don't think first column second column no you can pick any two you can pick any two out of that four no problem first column second column first row second row not like that you pick two among that four diagrams so you know already you mentioned the rule okay or you said like first row third row same sir okay middle row or right side shifting first of all observe middle row right side shifting where available that point is available in which place you just focus on that and let me know what's the answer first and third column common in these two okay uh, first row and third row common here and here but shifting to the right side triangle triangle here same place only no this is not correct this is not following the rule right so then we need to think about different ways you check which one here yeah, which one 2 and 4 2 is this one 4 is this one okay you are saying but shifting is fine what is the 2 and 4 logic 2 and 4 logic some rule is followed here what was the rule you observe then that should be applied in the second right side one you need to select pair not one you need to select a pair two things should be selected that's what fits the rule challenge they don't give heading like this they'll give like index to logical thinking or index to logical is it can be anything it can be row shift or column shift or diagonal shifting sometimes diagonally it may be common sometimes diagonal common also any thing you can observe first and second one followed some rule it can be row by shifting or column by shifting or diagonally changing some people say diagonally 
only two elements are the colors are there sir you can do different different logics but left side some rule is there okay that rule should be applied for the right side pane two things should be selected now what row shifting first one and third one okay but here left side row shifting happen left side left side you may think in this direction also entire column also shifted like that but column shifting i think some yeah here column wise means here column wise here row wise means here row wise we need to apply and below also there is a diagram here they are giving with simple logic first row see out of all the best suitable is this one and this one first column last column must be same middle three different colors required it's a different from plus symbol uh, among available i am telling you not this is the correct but among available the best suitable is second and third one here this one and this one climbing that first row last row same middle three different symbols required it can be shifting or not but that's not available so we can go middle three that's the best suitable similarly if you observe this below one okay here something happening you need to identify and look into that option availability which is suitable left side two things diagrams you analyze in right side four you need to select two which is following the same logic you can say same question one and three available as it is no here water is available in question same thing available in one and three this one and this one water they applied there here as it is will be there because no change some questions they make it easy like this water available in question that pay same pair available here you can go like that some questions what they do diagonal common symbol only diagonal they'll maintain common symbol we need to observe which is happening like that so we can find this is basic regarding that challenge we'll practice certain questions now so that you will get certain idea now you just you need to select two pages so first thing what you can do here what is actually happening left side 1 and 3 one and 3 okay so what's your logic 1 and 2 actually this guy is said it okay but in exam there is no time limit for each question no time limit in ibm came if i have to time limit for each question is there but here 6 minutes how many you saw that much what about this one i think this one this one matching this one this one matching it seems yeah i feel how oh, there is a time limit Here they set like okay, but actually there is no time limit for exam. There. You can match the page bit fast. What is the logic? Follow. Just check it out. One and one and two. We selected. Then you got it. It's not one. They have to two. Make sure of it. Here I think it's easy. First two columns should be same. Bottom should be different. Row, sorry. One and three. Here diagonally. See left side diagonal, right side diagonal same. Three. Time by the time I click. So here also again. Diagonally same. Diagonal same. Now here now I think first two. Two and one, one and two, no problem. Till it last. here two 
what the should go out of this. In exam, there is no problem here. Bottom, you can see you now that green color coming down that will eliminate your time limit. Last two, what my most important Last two. That's what, okay. Next again. So, this is, but in exam, don't worry about this timing. Okay, here we set like around 10 seconds or 15 seconds to speed up the things. Three and four. Bottom column should be same. Four and two and four. One and somebody said see one and three and it's again one and four it seems and it's less less so that patients come on at two and four and so it, it's okay in exam there is no like uh, that you don't give any time limit like that in exam and they don't show any scores there but for that uh, grid challenge pseudo code it will show after clicking on so and so button into marker green color like that but for this it won't show actually so that's fine that's one type of game i think you got the idea ba basic idea i'll show questions as well how to handle those Now we have enough time to work on and you can decide which page is your answer. No time limits, nothing. So what you can understand here, it's as simple. D and D, first and last column same, middle three should be different. Right. In fact, above and below same. Middle should be same. Next one. A and B, left side, first two columns should be same, column wise. Here, A and C, first and last column. Next, here it is, first column and last row, first column and last row. Right. Next, what's the answer? A and B plus symbol in the middle. We can take okay second column, second row like that, or first plus symbol. Next one, C and D. First two rows must be same. Now. Here, C and D because of this part. I hope you got certain idea now what can be done. So, this is what. What about this one? Lower bottom, upper top, top, okay. So, like this. Diagonal, you can observe three different symbols. Right, so C, A and D, perfect. What about this? D and C. Maybe I am just giving you that. Okay, in fact that one more element also same. Right, so that part. What about this? I think easy. It's done, it's repeated to it seems. 
V and D repetitive it seems. What about this? I think this is also repetitive. A and B last to two columns. This one. Now observe slightly what happened. This triangle in this side. But here triangle is in this side. And the symbols are interchanged as well. Circle, star, a square, square, circle like this. So it should be reverse way. First of all, I think, okay, first column, last column, B and D. But interchanging is not happened in between. So fine, at least, worst case, we have an idea. Okay, first and last column. So first and last row, that will reverse direction that's available in only B and D for B. So that's what a basic idea regarding inductive logical thinking or spatial challenge.